if you don't mind, I would love to sure. hear from you what your experience has been doing this or you know, getting prepared to do this here and there podcast because I really love this whole idea of seeing and understanding how cultural, you know, different cultures mesh, mesh together and what that can create. And I really would love to hear some of your experience. <laughs> Oh, uh, thank you. Um, <laughs> I feel, I'm like still kind of like, you know, I feel like I'm still like working out the kinks as well. Yeah. Um, and, and trying to find um, people interested in, in discussing their experiences is actually very challenging. I thought people would be more open, but I think yeah. people get camera shy or they get shy about just doing interviews and being recorded. But um, yeah, I mean, for me, it was always just how, how do you c connect culturally with with others and you know and, and it's and it's in a thousand different forms and you know for me it's always about the more you you understand about other people's you know not just views but uh, where, where people come from and where what their upbringings are like and what they how they see the world that's going to only open your mind more yeah and you know it's it's sprung from um for me it's, it started with like a, I did a study abroad in France and I met a lot of different people from, it was good because the school I went to wasn't just, you know, it wasn't just French students and like maybe some, study, but it was actually a, a very heavily like multicultural school. And, um, you know, that was 10 years ago. And it's like some of these individuals I'm still friends with. And, you know, it's interesting to to see, you know, okay, we were able to connect you know, at a school and, and, you know, some of these um, the people I, I did study abroad with there, some of them are in different, you know, some of them are in the U.S., some of them are in other places doing work like how how do they break through those barriers how do they meet new people how do they connect with people do they use social media do they you know just like you said do they go to uh you know do they go to concerts do they go to you know how, how is language an issue and actually that's something i I, Ava, I I apologize i did want to talk to you about some if you had any language issues when you came over here was it that you know not really yeah because yeah. <laughs> um, i feel like in germany like you know i i, I you know the couple people that I had met that were from that grew up in Germany you know they, they say you, you learn English pretty young but you know what I'm sure there's so many different quirks to to the yeah. United States and it's, it's definitely been an interesting experience so English was actually my third language I learned French before I learned English but please don't put me on the spot because it's all gone now <laughs> but um, I know my French is, is oof. You, you lose it you, you 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 don't use it you lose it it's True. Exactly. It really is true. It's true. Yeah. And so English was always kind of an afterthought for me um, in college. So my undergrad I did in Germany and then I came over here for grad school. Uh, and in, in college, you kind of do like a, you know, technical English or like business English classes. Mm -hmm. And they try to teach you how to communicate and actually get around and not just discuss Shakespeare like you do in high school or something like that. And that ha has helped for a certain degree. But honestly, even just ordering a hamburger and trying to understand how to get around was something that I really struggled with at the beginning. Mm -hmm. I came over to Louisiana. I went to LSU. And mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of people with a lot of thick accent or accents over there. And man, I did not understand a word at the beginning. I thought I knew English and then I came over and then nothing, you know. Yeah, it's like start from scratch. <laughs> yeah, it was really hard at the beginning. And everything, even though I know I'm coming from a, another Western first world country, even that there was a difference, you know, there are a lot of unspoken rules that I was unsure of how to follow them and what to do. I mean, even just getting gas at the gas station was a feat because that said pay at the pump. And at the I remember at the beginning, I thought pay at the pump means you can borrow money and then you can pay that way for your gas. Okay. Because in German, like pump kind of sometimes means borrowing. And so, okay. and so I was really, really confused and I didn't know how it worked. And it's like, it's kind of a different procedure than in Germany because you just pay after, you don't pay before. And so mm -hmm. anything just would really terrify me, even though it was the South and everybody is really welcoming and friendly. But if you don't understand them, you don't know that they're being friendly and welcome. Um, <laughs> excuse me. So it was just kind of a learning curve. And again, being vulnerable was the thing that really rescued me because first of all, I just decided, also, you know, my English was okay, but it was not great by any means. It wasn't good. Mm. And so I was very, very just afraid of making mistakes, especially as a German, you're kind of growing up thinking that you have to be perfect, a German and a woman. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, but um, so once I just realized nothing can happen to you if you're going to make a mistake 
even if you sound stupid, you're going to sound stupid. It's just going to, that's just what has to happen. And so once I let go of that and just kind of decided to be like, Hey, I don't know, help me. I was asking for help and I was telling everybody, correct me. And I'm just going to say how I think it goes. And that really kind of opened the windows and the floodgates for yeah. everything else. Cause people were more willing to help me. And I was get doing more things. And so I was learning more, you know? And so it's really just a kind of a leaning in uh, and, and trying to understand that they're all just humans. They're all just people. And you're just trying to get along. <laughs> That that's the thing about being in the United States is people take, you know, language for granted, you know, and mm-hmm. it's yeah. that's you know, and, and when you go abroad it's like this I mean, I, I knew people don't speak English like you know, fluently, but you know, I think people think, Oh, I'm gonna go to this country and well they have to know English, right? You know, yeah. and it's like, Yeah, no. Yeah. And and uh, well, I've never I've never been to Louisiana, so I don't <laughs> know. I, I one day I will get myself down there, but uh, you should. Yeah, you I would should. think that I should. But it again too, like I was actually no. So I'll tell you about Louisiana. So Louisiana, I've never. Been, but yeah, I can imagine that at least you saying like, "Hey, listen, I don't speak." You know, the the, the friendliness, the, the southern friendliness. I feel like yeah. people would, would be more willing to say, "Oh, that's okay." Like, no, it's this way, or you know, yeah. they'll they'll tell you how it is, but they'll be very sweet about it. That's true. Yeah. That's what I can imagine. Um, oh, but, the, the uh, other thing I wanted to say about language real quick, I just remembered that, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. the, the, once you uh, cross that barrier from not really being able to communicate and get around, and once you're able to just like exist in the world and be a relatively functioning adult, there's a whole other thing of understanding, finding your identity again in language. Because yes, like I, then I was able to order a cheeseburger and I was able to get gas. But if I had, let's say, met a boy, I couldn't really tell him all of my complicated emotions, you know, and you sad and happy and, but, but there's all these words that you use to express yourself. And it's really, that's where the culture comes in because yes, I've learned all these words, but I haven't learned me in American or in English, you know, and right, so that, right, right. that took a few years to really be able to express myself the way I want to. And interestingly enough, now a lot of times, I struggle to do that in German because I don't use it as much. And so when I talk about Hear feeling about words, especially things that I've learned in my 20s when I was here, it's much easier for me to say it and write that down in English and say it in English and much harder for yeah. me to find the right words in German. You hear about that. And her dreams are in English and, and then she loves in English. Yeah. She works in English. Yeah, well, that's what they say, right? The dreams. When, when your dreams are in, in, in another language, that's how yeah. you know you've, you've picked it up. Yeah. But, um, and also to just like, like, like I said, not, you, you kind of said like the unspoken stuff, like the, the cultural just norms. In, yes. Or, I mean, again, like you said, you're from a Western country, you know, certain things are the same, but, yeah. you know, I'm sure even being in France, there's like things that you would, you would think that like, oh, I do that here. It's, it's not the same there. Mm-hmm. You know, if, I, you know, even like, the idea of um, like just going out to dinner or something like that. It's just like the times are different. Everything is yes. just, you know, I, I, in fact, I was talking to somebody about that today about um, we were just talking about going like for Easter, like meeting some or meeting someone's parents. Like he was saying that his wife is from Poland and they, the way they do, they did the dinner. And the first time I met them, it was like a, a large table. And like, they all eat ask, like one person speaks at a time. I was like, really? I was like, in an Italian family, like we, like Easter yesterday, people were just talking and side conversations loud. There's children yeah. and dogs. There's, there's a five thousand things going on. I'm like, I couldn't imagine like yeah. why. Like, what, I mean, I can see if it's like four people, but like have a whole family and uh, I couldn't. It's crazy. Yeah, that's it's, like, all these all these cultural differences and just like learning to go with it. You know, yeah. just learn to and, and again too, like I think, like I said, just opening your mind to what's out there and saying. Hey, maybe that's not how I do things, but that's okay. And yeah. you know, learning to to be accepting and be open to to learning, and I just I find that very fascinating. So I and how people, because you know what, no one's perfect, you know, yeah. and you no, know, and things change, people change, you know. We live in changing times, so that's you know, even to say like I look at like even my parents. Oh well, you know, when I was younger, it was like this. I'm like, but it's not like this anymore. It's a different world. That's right. I had to adapt. And yeah. to... So, yeah. you know, it's, it's hard. I mean, it's kind of like, that's why I think it's, you know, a lot of people always say that you should leave the country and you should live somewhere else. 
and maybe it's kind of a cliche, but I do think that it helps you get to know yourself a little bit because, mm -hmm. I mean, you, you yeah. gain, gain a little bit of strength because you know you can do things that you might have thought you couldn't. But then also you see, like you said, everybody's just a person and it's changing and, and it's different and you just go with it, you know? And I, that's why I think your project is so important right now because it really promotes empathy and understanding and we're kind of getting away from that as a country or a world currently. So right. connecting people and letting them know that, hey, this person is totally different than you, but they also have all the same feelings than you do and they just want to love and just want to exist too. And that might be different, but it's still okay and it's still the same in a lot of ways. Matt, you said you've gone to Germany now a few times. How do you, how do you yeah. fare over there? I I don't speak any German yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you haven't uh, you haven't taught him you haven't taught him any words. I have a terrible no. patience. I I I, oh. I try, but then I am too much uh, too militant about it. <laughs> yeah, no sprechen Sie Deutsch. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I know how to say a couple things. I um I understand really well. Um, her family will sit around and talk for like forty five minutes straight without stopping, and then they'll go, "Oh no, Matt, are you bored?" <laughs> oh, wait. Do you know what's going on? And I'm like, yeah, they had a baby. Your coffee maker's not working. You know, like, I, I know what's happening. I just don't know all the nuances. You know, like, I know, like, the main thing. I'm um, just missing all the different shades of color in between. Um, I love it there. It's beautiful. Everyone's super nice. Her family's amazing. Uh, her friends are amazing. Um, I think I've been there three or four times. Um, and, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's been great. Uh, the, the craziest thing was we, it was the first time we went, maybe the second, we went to Munich for uh, New Year's. And um, I'm used to in America where, of course, in, I grew up in Georgia where you're not allowed to have fireworks anyway. You'd go to Alabama border or, or something okay. like that and buy the fireworks, but, but you can't buy them in the state and it was illegal. I think things might have changed now, but growing up, you could. Okay. And yeah, so if yeah. you wanted to see fireworks, you would go to a city center or what we usually watch it on TV. Um, but like, so we were in Munich and such, and, and like, uh, we're outside, and it's like counting down, and we're like, this is great, and there's just, just packs, people on people on people, and then the fireworks, big fireworks went off in the distance, and then around me, it was like a war zone, it was like, shoo, shoo. Oh. People, like, everyone brings fireworks, and they're all like super great, like, they're not just like, you know, sparklers or anything, like, they're, the yeah. guy right behind me is sh shooting off huge fireworks, and I'm like, what in the world is happening, and like, <laughs> So I liked that. <laughs> I always think that's scary. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, growing up, they always told me that Germans didn't have a good sense of humor, but I've met so many funny people there, and, and sh you have a great sense of humor, so. <laughs> that's, that's what they say about Germans? Yeah, that was always a stereotype. I had that no I idea. Oh, really? <laughs> I uh, yeah, I, I, I was uh, friendly with a German girl when I was in, um, did study abroad, and she, uh, you know, she... She she actually corrected my English for some reason, but uh, oh, <laughs> That's German thing of it. Yeah, I was like, well, wait a sec. I was like, you. She had never been to the U.S. She had never. I don't even think she had been to even England at that. Or maybe she has been since. I don't know. She definitely hasn't been to the U.S. Uh, we're still. I think we're 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 Instagram friends now. Ah, yeah. uh, we're still Instagram friends, but uh, you know, uh, but it's it's funny. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> That is funny, yeah. It takes you too into this whole explanation of, um, it's funny because um, I saw in the stores they had like pretzel sticks, and, but it said uh, with a B, so I was like, uh -huh. oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. She's like, oh, oh, no, 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 it's pronounced brezel. Uh -huh. I'm like, all right. So I said something like, oh, I'm going to get the pretzel. She's like, you mean brezel? So I was like, well, oh, okay. So I was like, oh, Lord. I was like, all right. Brezel. Cool. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is truly a German thing. <laughs> People need it to be correct the way they think it's correct. That's oh, why she doesn't teach me German. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. Because, like, she'll teach me something. I'll say, how is it? And we'll go back and forth 20 times. She's like, no, no, it's this. And I'm like, that's what I just said. And it, <clears> I am <throat> saying it, but I'm not saying it correctly yet. You know? Do you know that uh, scene in Friends where Phoebe's trying to uh, teach Joey how to speak French and he just totally botches it? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of how it feels to me. Even though I know he's trying his very best, I just. He needs somebody else to teach him because I. <laughs> but I, I did take lessons for three or six months, something like that, and um, and the guy basically told me, at my age, I just need to immerse myself in the culture and be around German-speaking people, and that the more I'm doing that, the more I'll be able to do it because 
learning words and all that kind of stuff is not as important as being able to understand and speak, you know, and that just really is going to yeah. come with time. And the, being, the, for, the formulation of sentences and thoughts in that language and be able to project that. Yeah. So he said, somebody. yeah, he said that she should just speak German only to me when we're at home. Like always we're at home. She only speaks German to me, but she won't do that. And I get it because you have a hard day at work and then you come home and you got to say things four times in a row to somebody because they don't understand what you're saying. That sucks. I get it. Like, oh, so, we try it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Well, there well, are sometimes. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it's. I think it's great. At least you're. At least you're trying to learn. I mean, yeah. maybe one day you'll. You said you might might move there one day too. I that's like that's possibly that yeah. Uh, that's the plan. Yeah. If especially if when we want to start a family, she she would like to be near her mother, which makes complete sense for that, you know, and um and of course that. The country is great and and has a lot of good things going for yeah. it too. So you get a lot more vacation time. Yeah. Work mm. life balance is a lot more valued over there than here. Mm. Um, I just uh, after I graduated, there was a short talk about us going back to Germany, and I was actually the one that didn't feel ready yet, you know, because I had grown so much in the states, and I've I kind of like made remade myself you know that feeling mm -hmm. after high school when yeah. you go to college and you get to like be the different person it was a yeah. little bit like that for me going to america i was like I, I got to know myself and like reinvent myself a little bit so uh it's gonna be a step and i really want to take that step because i have a lot of beautiful people in germany i love still that i want to be closer to and i think i have a lot of german roots that i would love to you know really appreciate myself but it's a it's a hard step, and coming out of grad school, I was so traumatized that I just wanted to have it a little bit easier and a lot easier transition. So first here, and then maybe Germany in a few years. And she makes a good point because for me, when I'm there for a longer period of time, I end up becoming. I'm very much. Uh, I think that one thing that I love is expressing my my feelings, and whether it's through music yeah. or talking or being you know witty in conversation or whatever, and. I become an introvert there because I can't speak, you know, so I, mm -hmm. I'm just sitting there quietly and listening a bunch and such. And, and, um, that I, I, it was the last time we went that we kind of had a really big discussion about it. And like, it will be hard for us both because she'll have to find her new German self there and I'll have to find my German self. And I'm definitely going to start off being a, an introvert because I just don't know anybody and I can't speak anything. And like, I do find myself feeling a lot more anxious in situations, you know, even, we went and got um, currywurst once, and the guy was super nice and spoke English. But I, my anxiety level was whew, up here because I just mm. was on the spot. He's like, "What do you want?" And I, I was like, "I don't know." And I was talking to Abe, and he's like, I'm, "You can talk English to me." And I'm like, "It doesn't matter. Like, I don't know what I'm like." <laughs> yeah, that's that's an interesting thing because it's almost like our relationship changes a little bit, like the patterns and the energies, because I have. I have to be the one that takes care of everything because I know all the words and he doesn't, you know, so apart from us getting to know each other, like ourselves, we have to get to know each other again. So it's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited for that challenge, but it just wasn't time yet for that challenge. <laughs> right. Not yet, not yet. But Matt, I'm thinking, you know, in a way, you know, say you move, you move to Germany and mm -hmm. you're, you know, and you're starting to write, you want, you want to start the music thing again. You said you said you really start with the music first. And then you come with the yeah. lyrics and that, that would be something interesting to see, you know, having time spent there, what would influence those lyrics or what would influence even just the sound and, and what you would be looking for in yeah. the direction or, or a voice. You're a hundred percent right. I, I, I'm interested in that myself. You know, I, I definitely, um, it's, I mean, cause I, I'm granted, I've only lived in, three other straight states, but we did try to move to California. We were there for a little bit once and I did tour a bunch and wrote some stuff on the road. But I feel like when I listen back to my stuff, it is very similar, even though I was, I mean, in different states. I mean, like uh, in America, you know, we we're still in the same country, but if we were in Europe, we'd be in completely different countries. And to that degree, each state is much, much different, you know, especially Louisiana is different from any state I've ever been to in, in general really? because like it's its own entity Animal, but yeah. yeah but um I think that I think that yes it would change it but I think there would be a defining line or uh, whatever that would keep it all together for sure because I, I do feel like I, I change and grow and there are different things that have happened in my music and such but 
at the same time, at the same time, it, I feel like it all definitely sounds like me, you know? Right. Of course. Yeah. But I, I too would be very interested to see what would transpire. Oh, well, come to New Jersey. That's like, you'd probably be blown away. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to New Jersey a couple of times. Um, I haven't stayed very long though. It's definitely yeah, I blame you. <laughs> it is. I haven't been well, there. If you- if you, if you, you, well, you, you, you can, you can come. It, we're, they were very, it's funny, like, you know, I, I live very close to, uh, about like 20 minutes outside of Manhattan, you know, I'm very, very close. And, you know, when I was in Europe, people are like, so I live in New Jersey and they're like, oh, you're New York City. Oh, you're so lucky. You're so close. I'm like, have you ever been there? Like, it, it's, it's, it's its own animal. There's not, there's going to be no place like New York City, of course, but I'm just like, like have you been there you like you spend some time like you know and you have i've had friends come and visit and they're like i want to go to manhattan i want to go to times square so i'm like times square really have you really like come yeah. on yeah. not so ava you've been to new york city or yes yeah. yes okay so yeah it's it's just like i don't know to me it's just like a bunch of tourists like yeah people just getting in the way people trying to to get money from you it's yes. just like it's I almost moved there when I moved to Louisiana. I was the girl I was dating. She, we met in North Carolina. She was getting a degree in costumes, and she was either going to do stage okay. or or screen. And uh, she had a bunch of friends that went to New York and did uh, stage stuff um, for like Broadway and such. And she had some ends, and she wanted to move there. And I hope I didn't ruin her life, but I said I'm not <laughs> moving to New York because I had mm-hmm. toured so much and I've been there. And like, sure, I've had, I got some great memories there, and I I played some cool places, but like. I'm just like I, that is the last place I would want to live. Like, <laughs> yeah. like it, it, even living outside the city, where like she would have to commute in every day. Like, I don't know if I would like that either. Maybe North. That's even maybe. worse. That's even worse. Yeah, um, for her, yeah, I, mean, yeah. I would just stay outside the city. And <laughs> be in Jersey, living yeah. that Jersey life. Yeah, it's it, you know I, I I went to grad school in the city and you know I I loved it I'm I'm really glad I did it I had a good experience but you know it's one of those things like I, you know now that I, I'm I'm back in Jersey and it's just like yeah I wouldn't I I'm, I have my job is is in Jersey and it's just like I I couldn't imagine getting up at like five take the no. bus it takes like an hour and a half two hours just the just the amount of like emotional energies you would meet on the way there and all these people i i i'm i'm an empath and that would just kill me i think you know I'd just be training so exhausted at the yeah, end yeah. of the day yeah. yeah and people don't get home till like i said you get up at five five thirty yeah. at home till seven thirty eight o'clock and it's like you gotta get up to do that grind four more days a week and then you know it's yeah yeah no no thanks. no no, no <laughs> yeah you know what I mean? I'm glad I got it out of my system, but now that I did it, I'm like, and every time I go there, it's, I mean, you know, you always have some, a, a fun reason to go there, like a yeah. play, a concert, uh, you know, to go see them, whatever. But, you know, I'm like, I, I don't miss it. Like, it's like, but, you know, it, it, Jersey, I feel like it's just like overshadowed by like New York City as just this, yeah. like, you know, it's like, I feel like there's so many stereotypes. Yeah. And it's, you know, it, it, it it's, but even in New Jersey too, like I feel like my town is very um, not isolated, but very they're all, it's very shallow. Like people mm-hmm. who live in my town is so big. Um, people like sometimes just think like, well, I live in I live in this town, and and well, everything around me just really doesn't matter. It's very closed minded. That's another wow. reason too. I just I felt like you know like not that I'm a big fish for a small town, but I, I really? just I felt there's there's a whole other world out there than yeah. you know you know it, just new jersey you know there's a whole another life out there that i could be living you know my, the circumstances for me i mean i'm still here there was you know after grad school i couldn't really get a job or i had a job and it wasn't great and it, i ended up where i am right now so yeah but you know, i'm not stuck here forever that's, that's actually what i i started with this blog you know i'm like yeah. okay, i'm not stuck i'm gonna just sort of work towards at least something that's going to inspire me. And that's part of this project. So, that's awesome. yeah. I love that, yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, I, I've never, I've never been to Georgia and I've never been to North Carolina. I've never been to Louisiana. So I'll have to, uh, I'll have to, it's all, they're on my bucket list. So you're always Wednesday. welcome here. If you ever come to Atlanta, you have a place to stay now. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I heard, I mean, Atlanta's like, I mean, a lot of people from Jersey moved down to Georgia, especially yeah. Atlanta, the yeah. greater Atlanta area you hear. So, because it's just so crazy. I mean, the taxes and stuff are just insanity by us. I mean, it's 
I mean, even for like my mom and I were talking about, like, I don't want to stay here. It's like, I can't blame her. It's crazy. Yeah. But, insane. but, but, um, all right. Well, thank, uh, thank you so much for, for, for chatting. Yeah. I mean, this has gone on over an hour. So this is, this is great. I really yeah. appreciate it. Thanks for thank having Thank you us. so much for having us. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Thank you so much.